What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive dubs match um, with Marty, or Christianity, that's his gamer tag. And uh, you guys should know that I do have a couple of the little segments in this gameplay sped up. If you want to know the exact speed, it's 2.5 times the normal speed, just in case you guys were wondering. Uh, just to cut the time down a little bit closer to 10 minutes. But, um,. I believe these guys were either both right around 1k or both right around 10k, I can't remember exactly which, but that's just the background info. So before I really get into the topic here, um, I wanted to thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I was going to be making this video yesterday, but I didn't think I would quite hit it yesterday, uh, but I happened to go well past it, um, so I was waiting until today to make it. So my apologies for that, but thank you guys so much for that, that's a huge milestone. And the topic it will actually kind of tie into this at the end. I'll let you guys watch that. But uh, t the topic is staying humble. How to be humble and why being humble is important. Um, but first, I'm going to clarify a few things. So first of all, this the, 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 the idea of staying humble is more of an online scenario. Um, when you're at a LAN event, it kind of goes out the window. You've got to be... Um, very very aggressive you need to be in the other team's face you need to be making noise you need to scare them to scare them and also boost your own team's morale so you know it kind of goes out the window but of course after the match you know you can be humble by shaking the other people's hand showing respect that sort of thing but um also i should clarify the definition that we're using here i'm saying it's having or showing a modest estimate of one's own importance uh this is important because a lot of people tend to think that when you're humbling yourself, you're going out of your way to make yourself so much of a lesser person compared to other people. You know, like an analogy would be groveling at a king's feet. That's not what this is. This is more of just seeing yourself at, you know, a modest level. Just be like, okay, you know, I'm not the greatest in the world yet. I want to drive for that, but, you know, I'm not there yet or something like that. Showing respect for others, that sort of thing. Um, also, I should clarify that confidence is okay. It's just when you become overconfident and arrogant and egotistical because we know, we all know that the COD community has those traits. Uh, you know, you'll see all these 13, 14 year olds, nothing wrong with 13 or 14 year olds, but you'll see them or younger people or older people too, but I mean, it's typically around that area that think they're the greatest. They think they're all this. They think they can be pro right then, right then now they'll put it in their bios and stuff they'll be boasting about it to everybody and they can't back it up you've it, it, it gets annoying so i mean you just got to be careful with it so why being humble is important so first of all you're gonna have less anger when you're humble um you'll have less anger towards yourself and towards your teammates because you know that you're not the greatest in the world if you start losing you're not going to be all of a sudden mad and trying to blame other people or even yourself for it you'll be like okay you know maybe they're better or maybe they're having a good day and i'm having a bad day but let me improve and learn from this also you'll have the drive to improve and win a lot more because you know that you still have something to work for you're not persuading yourself to believe that you're already the best because if you think that you're the best you're going to lose the drive to keep practicing and to try and improve. Like, there's nothing to go for anymore. So you've got to have that drive. Also, you'll be more focused because, you know, you're trying to improve. You'll also be kinder to others because you'll see yourself more as equals to them. Um, you know, because when you get overconfident in yourself, you see other people as lesser. That happens on teams sometimes where one person gets it in their head that they're better than everybody else. And they'll let everybody know about it. Also, you'll have better chemistry with your own team because you'll have respect for them and they'll have respect for you usually. Um, also, you know, just more respect from other people. You know, even people outside of your team, people from different organizations, everything. And it'll just, you know, it, it'll also help you possibly get picked up by other teams because they'll see that you're being respectful and nice and you're not over the top about yourself and everything. So, I mean, you know, just keep that in mind. Of course, don't go overboard with this. You don't need to be saying, oh, my bad, oh, my bad, every 10 seconds, okay? Like, I've known some people that do that, and it's like the thing wasn't even close to their fault. Like, don't, you don't have to take responsibility for everything. Just take responsibility for your actions, respect others, that sort of thing. 
so how to be humble so the first thing is acknowledge constructive criticism this is something that a lot of people can't do and it's one of the best ways to show that you are being humble because when you can accept constructive criticism not necessarily um, you know do exactly what the person tells you but to at least acknowledge it and respond to it it lets people know that you're willing to listen to them you treat them as equals you don't think of yourself as this all-powerful person or all-knowing person or whatever that you're like oh I'm the best and everything so I mean it's you know just one of those things also I <laughs> um, one one of the best ways also is to not say that you're the best all the time because you know there are people that go around saying I'm the best I'm the best all the time they have nothing to back it up they don't have any you know tournament placings land placings for that matter um, anything you know they're just going around boasting about it and it, it doesn't mean anything you know you just it just annoys people it makes people not want to play with you also don't lie about your earnings or placings there are people that go around doing this and I can understand because you know you have that competitive drive and when you hear about somebody else's earnings or placings you want to be at least equal to them if not better and so you're like oh you earned a hundred dollars I've earned a hundred fifty dollars in prize money or however much you know thousands whatever um, or oh I've gotten three first placings or something when you hear somebody's got two or something so you know, just don't don't lie about it. It's not going to help your case at all, especially if they find out that you're lying. Also, don't boast about your earnings or placings unless you're applying for a sponsorship or you're talking to an organization head about picking your team up. And even with this, you got to do it with care. You don't want to be boasting too much, but you want to be prideful in this. You want to be going, yes, we've been to these tournaments. We've placed however you placed um, we have social media accounts at these numbers and whatnot and you know our fans love us things like that you know show pride but don't be overly you know annoying with it also acknowledge your mistakes and when teammates make a good play this is something that's very important you know it, it helps your teammates know that you understand that you made a mistake you know when you say my bad couple times not often you know don't be doing it every 10 seconds like I said before but when you're doing it every now and then like I'm sorry I made a bad play there I understand what I did wrong your teammates are more inclined to forgive you and move past it because they know that you understand you did something wrong and you can also tell them what you're planning on doing better so then they know they don't have to try and go back and mess with it later on their own time and then also acknowledging you know when teammates make a good play um, this helps boost the team morale. It helps build the chemistry that's oh so important. It's just something that you got to do. It it really drives the game forward. It raises the hype even if there's not much in an online setting. Also, realize that you are beatable and you're not perfect. We're all humans. We can lose on any given day, any given match against any team. There's, you know, especially in an online setting, guys, there's so many factors going into it. You know, the internet speed, um, where the people live, the time of day, uh, storms can even affect it. You know, it can knock out power lines all of a sudden or whatnot. You know, there's so many factors. Don't be worrying about it too much. Um, just know that you are beatable. And all the pros, you know what? They're beatable too. You see AMs beat them every now and then. So, you know, you, you have something to drive for. You can definitely beat them. Also, remind yourself that there are always going to be others that are better than you, whether it be by statistics on, you know, social media accounts like YouTube and Twitter or by land placings. And I understand, yes, well, what about the people at the top? Yes, they are the best in that category right now, but nobody else can say that. And you know what? Even they, they're still beatable, like I said before. And it's not a permanent thing. And this, this kind of last point ties into what I was saying earlier about how it's for myself as well. I, I want this video to be something that I can look back upon if I ever get to a point where I, I get a lot bigger because I don't want to become egotistical. I don't want to think that I'm all that. I don't want to look back when I have 100k subs and be like, yeah, man, I'm amazing. Nobody can beat me or anything like that. So, I, you know, if I ever get overconfident with myself, send me this video just so that I can, you know, remind myself from the past that I've got to stay humble. So 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.